Welcome, Scrum Masters, to this final summary of the entire course. What we'll do is we'll take one or two slides from each of the presentations and review what we learned. Let's start off with Section 2, the Mental Model Big Picture. You constructed your mental model after watching me go through a couple of the elements of my mental model. Why are mental models important? First, because it's important to know ourselves, to have self-awareness. And secondly, because our mental models lead to actions which have intended and unintended consequences. In section three, you learned about daily, weekly, and monthly rhythms, and the key idea that you need to construct those daily, weekly, and monthly rhythms, and then apply plan, do, check, adjust to improve them over time. And then we covered a total of 11 habits that you might want to include in those weekly, monthly, and daily rhythms. Remember that this is not an exhaustive list, it's just a partial list. You'll add, subtract, and modify to this list. In section four, we started working on facilitation. We focused on the PTAS technique, which stands for purpose, time, agenda, and summary. The overview here is that you want to run a meeting like a mini sprint, with the purpose being the vision or the sprint goal, the time being the time box, the agenda being your burn down chart, and the summary being the review and the retrospective. Section five, we focused on agreements and we focused on what they mean, with the key idea that the team defines the agreement and the team can change the agreement at any time. So the agreements are not imposed by someone else. That's what makes it so powerful and so different from the standard command and control process. In section six, we talked about peaceful communication and the four dimensions of peaceful communication, observations, feelings, needs, and requests. I encourage you to use peaceful communication to connect with yourself and to connect with others. In section seven, we talked about collaborating with managers and building the enterprise agile team. Why is that important and why will it contribute to your success as a scrum master? And finally, in section eight, we talked about the 10 characteristics of servant leadership. And you did an exercise exploring each of those characteristics. So here's what's next. Schedule your final one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me if you haven't done so already. Show up to the next monthly coaching call. You'll see the schedule in the live sections of the course. And finally, feel free to contact me at any time to have a question or conversation about Scrum. I've loved teaching this course. I'm really happy that you're here with me now, and I look forward to continuing to communicate with you. Enjoy.